Good day, my name is Jacob. Today's practice is a chair yoga practice. By request from some of the YouTube subscribers, this is going to be a little bit of a longer practice and a mix of my first video, which is a little more gentle and some more energetics. Of course, this is always your practice, so if something doesn't feel right, you can leave it out. You can also pause the video to figure something out if you need to. Let's start today by sitting up nice and tall, bringing your back slightly off of the chair, and we'll place our hands on our heart. Close your eyes, tune into the sounds around you, tune into the smells and the temperature of the air. And then let's really come into the sensation of our breath, breathing as deeply as we can and sending the breath to where our hands are, the heart. Big inhale, exhale. Feeling the chest and feeling the chest rise and fall with the breath. Let's start to open our eyes and exhale, drop the hands down to the ground. Inhale, arms float up to the sky. Now remember, this may be too much for some of our bodies. You could bring the hands only up so high. And exhale, we're bringing the hands back down. Inhale, arms float to the sky. And exhale, hands come back down. I'll show you the variation of not raising the hands so high. Inhale. And exhale. We're doing three more like this. Inhale, if it's all right, arms can go higher. And exhale, lower down. Inhale, arms float up. And exhale, coming back down. Inhale as much as you can. And exhale, hands come down. This next one, inhale, we're lifting the low back. Lift the heart as high as you can. And then exhale, fold forward. You may need to widen the legs to make room for bellies. Inhale, using the hands to come back up. And exhale, pause. I'm gonna give you the side profile to see what that looks like from our side. You don't have to move, stay where you are. Inhale, we're lifting the low back, lifting the heart. A little back bend here. And then exhale, we're walking the hands down, dropping the head. Inhale, we're coming back up. And exhale, pause. Let's do two more like this. Inhale, lift the heart. And exhale, we're coming down. Inhale, bring yourself back up. And exhale, relax. Inhale with intention. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, bringing yourself back up. And exhale, pause. Let's now bring our hands back to our heart. Close the eyes again. And just check in with the body and breath. Maybe you can feel your heart moving as I am right now, pounding a little bit more. We'll slow that breath down with long exhales. Slow that heart rate down with long exhales. Inhale, opening the eyes. So we're gonna try combining those two moves together. Inhale, arms float up as high as you can. 
Exhale, hands come back down to the knees. Inhale, we're lifting the low back, lift the heart. And exhale, fold forward, drop the head. Inhale, bring yourself back up. And exhale, pause. We'll do four more like this. Inhale, arms float up. Exhale, lowering the hands down. Inhale, lift the heart, lift the low back. And with our exhale, we're coming forward. Inhale, bringing yourself back up. If this is hard, use the hands to bring yourself up. And exhale, pause. If it's easy, you can keep the hands off the legs. So inhale, arms float up. Exhale, bring those hands down. Lifting heart and low back. Exhale, fold forward. I'm not using my hands this time. Inhale, back up. And exhale. Last one. Inhale, arms float up. Exhale. Inhale, lifting the heart, lift the chest. Exhale, you're folding forward. Inhale, bringing yourself back up. And exhale, pause. For this next one, make sure you're sitting in the middle of the chair and not all the way to the back. You can bring yourself to the edge if your chair is stable. If you're using a plastic chair, make sure you're sitting in the middle. We'll place our hand on our right knee. With our exhale, draw the knees in. And inhale, slowly drop the knee back down. Let's try that again. Exhale, drawing that knee in. And inhale, back down. For some of this, this is too easy. If you want to do this without hands or just one hand, exhale, we're contracting the belly to pull it up. And inhale with resistance, slowly dropping it down. I'm going to show you without the hands. If you need the hands on the knee, keep the hands there. Exhale, we're drawing the knees in. And inhale, dropping down. Two more. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And inhale. Switching to the next side, let's start with our hands on our knees. Exhale, you're drawing the left knee in towards your belly. And then inhale, foot comes down. Exhale, drawing that knee in. Inhale, back down. Three more options to take the hands off the knee or use just one hand or keep both hands there. Exhale. Inhale. Again, as you're dropping it, slowly dropping it with resistance. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And inhale. Very good. Let's slide back a little bit. And with an exhale, extend the leg. And we're doing circles with the ankles. Now, as I'm doing these circles with my ankles and feet, I'm feeling clicks in the joint. Just notice what's going on with your body. And once you figure out that movement, let's come back to a nice, steady, aware breath. And exhale, you're changing directions. And exhale, lowering yourself back down. Inhale, extending the left leg. And let's do circles again with the ankle. Some of us lifting this leg is very hard. You could support yourself with the hands, but again, we're trying to work our core a little bit. And we're changing directions. And exhale, drop it down. Let's do that again. Inhale, extend the leg. Maybe you can lift that foot a little higher. And this time we're pointing the foot and pushing through the heel. And we'll do that a few times. You might need the stability of holding on to the chair. If 
If you have handles, you could hold on to your handles. And exhale, drop that foot down. Let's come to our next side. Extending the leg, pointing the toe, push through the heels. And exhale, lowering it back down. Let's start to do shoulder rolls, nice big juicy rolls with the shoulders. And you might again bring attention to how the body feels here. If it's making any musicality, I feel little clicks and pops happening in my left shoulder today. And we're changing direction. Still a steady deep breath. We're trying to breathe through the nose. Unless you're congested, you could breathe through the mouth. People tend to inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Try to keep it both inhale and exhale through the nose. And exhale, release. Inhale, let's extend the arms out to the side and pull our fingertips back, stretching the wrist as well. We'll bring the hands slightly behind the shoulders, opening the chest, pulling the low ribs in, so I'm not arching the low back here. Pull the low ribs in, firm up the belly, sit up tall. Breathe into the heart. With our exhale, we're going to bring the right arm under left and crossing the arms, twist tying the hands. Maybe you can catch the hands or thumbs or hold on to the shoulders if that's not possible to wrap the arms. We're lifting the elbows, either variation. And breathe, send the breath to the back of the heart now. Inhale, let's open those hands again. Flex the fingers towards your head. Bring the hands behind the shoulders. Breathe. You might be getting a little burn in your shoulders by now. I am. Again, being honest with the body. If your body's saying, this is too much for me today, you can take little breaks. If not, stay there. Stay with the breath. With our next exhale, we're changing sides. I'm bringing my left elbow underneath right, twist tying the arms, either catching the hands or catching shoulders, lifting the elbows, either variation. Breathe. Inhale, let's open those hands again. Pull the fingertips back. And this time we'll point the fingers down. Pinch the thumbs and the fingers together. Bring the hands behind the shoulders. Open the heart, breathe. And exhale, lower down. Let's roll those shoulders again. With your inhale, let's lift the right knee and try to cross that ankle onto the knee. Now that's not possible for everyone, so it might be more like legs crossed. If you can keep the ankle on the knee, stay there. Inhale, we're sitting up tall. And then exhale, start to walk the hands down towards the ground. With the leg knee on top of one another, it looks more like that. I'm looking for a stretch in my hips and my glutes. Four more breaths here. Release the weight of your head, relax. And inhale, we're bringing yourself back up, uncrossing those legs again. And let's come to our next side, crossing the left ankle over right knee. Maybe it's more knee on knee. Inhale, sit up tall. And then exhale, working your hands down towards the ground. Release, breathe, relax the head. (laughs) 
Inhale, you're bringing yourself back up. Sliding yourself, uncross the legs, slide yourself forward more to the edge of your chair. Again, be careful if your chair is tippy. And then we're gonna open the legs wide. Inhale, sit up tall, lift the heart. And exhale, pause. Inhale, we're lifting the left arm up and over. If this hand can stay on the leg for st stability or bring the hand over to the side or even hold on to your armrest or the side of the chair. Three more breaths. Let's look up to the sky. If that hurts the neck, then you can also look down. With our inhale, we'll bring ourselves back up. And exhale, pause. Let's come to the next side. Inhale, I'm reading, reaching my right arm up. Exhale, reaching up and over. This hand can stay on the thigh or drop the arm or hold on to the chair. With your next inhale, let's look up to the sky. Breathe. And inhale, coming back up. We're going to work our core a little bit more. We were doing a stretch and core work in that one. So let's bring our knees a little closer together, hip width apart. Inhale, hands to shoulders, and then exhale, twisting your shoulders and elbows back in space. We're turning to our right. I can feel my belly working. Four good breaths here. Inhale back to center. And then exhale, I'm twisting to the next side. Left elbow comes back. Two more breaths. Inhale back to center. And exhale, release the hands down. Let's do that with just the head now. So inhale, sit up tall. And exhale, look over your right shoulder without twisting the torso, just the neck and head. Try to look over that shoulder as much as you can. Breathe. Inhale back to center. Exhale, looking over the left shoulder. Again, I'm not twisting the torso, just my neck and head. Breathe. Inhale back to center and exhale pause. We're going to do that set again. If you find extending the arms too much, alternately you can keep the hands on your hip. I'll show you both variations. Inhale, left arm reaches up and exhale. I'm leaning over, hand can stay on thigh or drop the hand down. The other variation is hand on hips. I'm still working my belly, breathing to the lungs. Three more breaths. Inhale, looking up to the sky if that's okay, or to the neck. Inhale back to center and exhale to the next side. Again, hands could stay on the hip or extending the arm up and over. With your next inhale, look up to the sky. And inhale back to center. Let's place our hands on our shoulders. Exhale, we're twisting, right elbow back. Breathing, three good breaths here. Inhale back to center and exhale, I'm twisting to the next side. back to center. Exhale, bring the hands down to the thighs, just moving the head now. With your next exhale, look over the right shoulder as much as you can. I'm not twisting the torso, just my head. Three more smooth breaths. Inhale back to center. And then exhale, twisting to the next side, looking over the left shoulder. Four breaths here. And inhale, 
the center. I'm starting to feel some warmth. Hopefully you are too. This next one, a few variations we're coming to standing. So if not all of us are able to stand, I'll show you the easiest variation to start with. Hands to the either your armrests or to the sides of the chair. You might want to slide back to about the middle again. And exhale, we're using the arms and legs, lifting the bum, and then slowly with resistance, coming back down. So exhale again, I'm lifting. And inhale back down. Now if this is quite easy for you, you're coming all the way to standing. Exhale, you can lift. I'm not using my hands. You could bring your hands to your thighs if you need that. And inhale, coming back down. Maybe you need that support to come back down. I'm trying to resist the just dropping down to the ground. So maybe you don't come up as high. Exhale, maybe lifting this high. And inhale, back down. Good one for healthy knees. Let's do about six more of these. You can take breaks whenever you need. Exhale, I'm lifting. And inhale, back down. Exhale, we're lifting. And inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. I think I've got two more in me. Let's do two more. Exhale. Inhale. Last one. Exhale. And inhale. A few breaths here. We're going to do one more that's similar variation. We're just going to lift our bum slightly off the mat and try to stay there for three breaths. Again, you could use the hands on your chair. So exhale, I'm lifting, bum just comes slightly off the mat, or maybe it just lightens. I'm holding here, pull the belly into your spine, and drop back down. Let's do one more. Whew. Exhale, bring yourself up. Hold it here, contract your stop P muscle in, pull the belly to spine. And exhale, lowering down, very good. I'm starting to feel a little tension in the shoulders. Let's roll out those shoulders again. We'll place the hands to the shoulders and continue doing circle roll or circles with the elbows and the shoulders. Nice. Working on neck, we'll strengthen neck a little bit. Place the hand to the side of the head. The action I'm trying to do is to turn the head like we did earlier, but the hand stops the head from moving. So there's some resistance. I'm using about 40% of my strength, not all of my ability or strength. Three breaths here. And exhale, release. Coming to our next side, hand to the temple. I'm trying to look over to this shoulder and the hand resists. Two more breaths. Great, let's do that again. Hand comes to the first side. I'm trying to turn my head towards the side, resisting four breaths. Next side. And exhale, release. I'm going to show you this profile again for this one, but you can stay facing forward. Head retractions without dropping your chin or lifting the chin. So head comes straight back, flattening the back of the neck here. And release. Again, you're pulling the head straight back. And release, be careful those watching the video that you're not dropping that chin or lifting it straight back. And release, we'll do about six more. Another way to think of this is to make those double chins. And release, pull it back. And release. Three more. Very good. 
We're gonna hold on with our left hand to the chair, reach around with the right hand to catch the opposite side of the head, and then drop my right ear towards my right shoulder. I'm not pulling with this hand, just using the weight of the arm and the head to create traction, pulling down with this left hand to drop this left shoulder down. And inhale to center, dropping the right hand, reach around with the left hand to catch the opposite side, and dropping the left ear towards the shoulder. Again, I'm using my right hand to create traction, to drop the right shoulder, breathe. Inhale, come back up. Let's repeat that one. Again, hold on with the left hand, reach around with the right, drop the right ear down. If left and right confuses you, just make sure you change sides. And inhale, coming back up. Right hand drops, reach around with the left hand, catch the head, drop the ear. And inhale, back to center. Hands on your thighs for stability. We'll do some gentle rolls with the head. Now, as you're doing this, not lifting the chin too much. Keep some length or some kindness to the back of the neck here. And again, I'm noticing some clicks and pops. Change directions. Very good. Let's do some more forward folds. Feet a little bit wider this time. Inhale, you're lifting your chest. And exhale, you're dropping down. Release the head. Inhale, coming back up. And exhale, you're folding forward. Inhale, bringing yourself back up. And exhale, folding forward again. Inhale, we're coming back up. And exhale, pause. All right, let's do a little bit more work with our legs. Wind's picking up, looks like Ray might be coming. With our exhale, let's extend our leg. Hold it here. And inhale, drop it down. Exhale, extend the next leg. And inhale, drop it down. If this is too easy for you, you can make it a little bit harder by coming to the edge of the chair, leaning yourself back, holding onto the chair so your chest is turning upwards. And exhale, extending a leg. And inhale, drop it down. Exhale, extend the leg. Inhale, back down. Now, if this is too much for you, you could assist the leg to whatever level is right for you. Right. Let's do three more like this. Exhale, you're extending. Inhale, you're bringing it back in. Exhale, extending. Inhale, back in. One more set. Sliding back to the center of the mat. We'll place our right hand to left knee and the other hand to our hip. Inhale, you're sitting up tall. And then exhale, twisting. You can look over the shoulder, breathing deeply. And inhale back to center, changing sides. So I'm placing my left hand on right knee, right hand on the hip, inhale, sit up tall, and then exhale, twisting again, look behind me. Inhale back to center, let's do that two more times. Place the right hand on left knee, right and left hand on hip. Inhale, sit up tall, exhale, look behind you. Inhale, we're coming back to center and changing sides. Deep breaths here. 
The breath should sound a bit like the wind. Inhale back to center, we're changing the next side. Exhale, twisting. And inhale back to center. Exhale, coming to our next side. coming back to center. Very good. Let's shift again back to the front of our chair and we're going to do double leg lifts. Now if this is too much for you, you could use your hands to lift the legs or maybe it's just the intention of trying to lift the legs and they might not actually lift. I'm bringing my hands behind you, behind me and then leaning back again. With an exhale I firm the belly and lift the knees. Inhale, it slowly comes back down. Again, exhale, we're drawing the knees in. And inhale, we're slowly coming back down. Exhale. And inhale. Exhale, easy variation, maybe just lifting the heels, coming up to the toes. And back down. Two more. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, and inhale, very good. A little playfulness, we're going to inhale, open the legs, exhale, knees together. Inhale, open, exhale, close, a little bit faster in our movement and breath. Again, you can use the hands on the knees to assist, or maybe you're strong enough in the legs and core and you can hold on to the chair and do this. Now I'm starting to feel this in my low back a little bit, which means I'm not really engaging my core. Keep the belly slightly firm. Let's do two more. Very good. I'm sliding myself back and then to the edge of my chair. So my right bum cheek is hanging off the chair and then bringing this leg back. Coming into a lunge, supported lunge. Hands could come onto the knee and lift the chest, tucking the pelvis forward. So I'm taking some of the curve out of the low back. You can stay here or inhale, lift your right arm up. Two more breaths. And let's come into a side arch now. So reaching that hand up and over. Hand could be on your knee and you're just leaning over. Or hands to your hips is another nice variation here. Three more breaths. Breathing like the wind. Inhale, bring yourself back up. Exhale, let's bring that back foot to the front and we'll slide over to the next side. My left bum cheek is hanging off the side of the chair. If you're using a chair with armrest, you might need to do this more in the front. I'm stepping the left foot back, coming into a lunge. And for stability, hands could be on the chair or on the thighs. If it felt right on the other side, you could extend the left arm up. Pulling low ribs in, send the tail forward. Enjoy the breath. And then we're leaning over to the side, to our right side. Hand could stay on the thigh or hand on the chair for stability. Hands to hips. Another variation is hand on shoulder, if this is too much for the shoulder joint. And inhale, bringing those feet back together. And let's shift over to our next side. Let's repeat that one. 
So my right bum cheek hanging off the side and then sliding that right leg back. Second set, you might find that you could go a little bit deeper if that feels safe for you. Hands to knee or on the chairs. Pull the belly in, send the tail forward. Hands can stay on the thigh. This is a nice variation as well. We're looking to send this right heel back to feel the stretch in this right psoas. So hands can stay here or hooking the thumbs. Inhale, both arms float up to the sky. And some variations, hands to shoulders or hands to hips, hands on knees. I'm gonna stay with arms extended. Four more breaths here. And exhale, hands come down. With an inhale, stepping both feet to the front. And exhale, we'll slide over to the next side. Left bum cheek is hanging off the chair. And we're stepping the left foot back. Push out to the left heel. Hands can stay on the knee and play with pulling low ribs in, tucking the pelvis forward or hooking the thumbs. Inhale, arms float up to the sky. Five conscious breaths. And exhale, hands come back down to the ground. Stepping that front foot to the, to, to the, meet the front foot, back foot to meet the front foot. And then sliding yourself back into the center of your chair. Let's readdress the hips with some um, figure fours. So we're placing the left ankle on the knee. As I said before, for some of us, it's crossing the knees right on top. Inhale, sit up tall and exhale. Walk the hands forward. Maybe you can release the arms, release the head. We're staying here for six breaths this time. And inhale, bringing yourself back up. Exhale and cross the legs. Inhale, changing sides. Place the ankle on the knee or slide the knee right on top. Sit up nice and tall. Exhale, you're folding forward. Option to release the arms and head. Six breaths here. Inhale, bringing yourself back up. Exhale, extend the legs. Let's extend our right leg straight. I'm sliding myself to the edge of my chair. You can hold on to the chair if stability is an issue for you. And then exhale, I'm folding forward. Now, if that chair feels better to hold on to, you can. Or walk the hands down the leg and release the head. This front foot is flexed, so I'm pushing through the heels, pulling the toes back. And inhale, we're bringing ourselves back up. Bending both knees and then extend the left leg. I'm flexing the heel, pulling the toes back to myself. And then exhale, folding forward. You can hold on to the chair or the leg. And inhale, bringing yourself back up. We'll slide a little bit further back. Bring the left knee out to the side and then the right leg out somewhat straight. We'll place this left forearm on the thigh and then inhale, right arm reaches up. You can stay here or put the hand to the back of the head or hand on your hip if that's better. Or if it's there for you, reaching this right hand over. And let's do five breaths here again. Breathing like the wind, extended and smooth.
And inhale, bringing yourself back up. And we'll change sides, bring those feet closer together. And then I'm stepping the right foot out, toes facing that direction. And then left leg straightens as much as I can. You might need to adjust and slide on your chair to make that happen. Exhale, place your right forearm on your thigh. Inhale, left arm reaches up. You can keep the hand there or to the back of the head or to the hip. Or with it, exhale, reach the arm over. Four good breaths here. And with our inhale, we're bringing ourselves back up. Let's try drawing the knees in towards your belly. Actually, we'll start with our right leg. Pull that in. You can lean back a little bit. Try to breathe into your belly here. And exhale, release. Changing sides, draw that knee in. Still breathing into the belly here. Let's do a second set of this. We're drawing the right knee in. And again, we're squishing our abdominal, breathing into the belly to massage the organs here. And exhale, release the knee down, coming to the next side, draw the left knee in, breathing into your belly. yourself down. Let's look at the hands and wrists for a little bit. So we're opening the fingers as wide as you can, stretching the fingers and then making fists. Again, opening the fingers, stretch the hands, exhale, making fists. We'll do that a few more times. Let's keep those fingers spread wide, wide, wide and do circles with the hands. And again, you might notice this, I'm noticing little clicks and pops happening in the joints. Changing directions. Let's make fists and do circles with fists. And again, changing directions. Place the fingertips on the legs and try to bring the heel of the hand down towards the knees. Now this might look something like this. This is fine. I'm just looking for a stretch in the wrists and the hands, never pushing it to a point where it feels painful. Very good. And release, shake out those hands like you're shaking water off your hands. Let's do our piano. So we're wiggling the fingers, running it up and down the keyboard, working all those digits, keeping the mobility in our joints. Nice. We'll extend the left arm and bring it across us, catching with the right, stretching the shoulder now.
And exhale, release, extending the right arm forward and pulling the cross with the left hand. And exhale, release, slide forward to the edge of the chair if you're not there. Place the hands on your chair and then we're lifting the heart Bending the elbow slightly. So really lifting the heart. The chin might lift a little bit, but don't lift it too high. Keep it slightly pulled in towards your neck. Four more breaths into the heart here. And exhale, release. We'll come into one more forward bend. This is a passive forward bend. We're gonna hold it for a while. You could place the hands to the back of the head if that feels good. So exhale, walking the hands down, feet nice and wide. You can let the hands dangle to the ground or place the hands to the back of the head. Five breaths here. Using the hands up the legs, inhale, bring yourself back up. And exhale, pause. We'll come into one more twist here. Squeezing the knees together. Hands to the, the legs and we're turning ourselves. That hand could stay on the hip or reach around and catch the chair. Looking behind you as much as you can. Four deep breaths. And inhale back to center. Let's come to the next side, twisting next side, hands to the hips. Or bringing that right hand to the chair. into our closing sequence now, placing the hands on the heart or hands on your thighs. Whatever feels best for you, close your eyes, sit up tall. Together we inhale, and as you're inhaling, filling the body with golden light. And exhale, let's send that golden light out. Inhale again, fill yourself with this golden light. Let's call this love, this feeling of love. And exhale, send out that love. Inhale, maybe you can think of someone that you love, that sensation, fill your body with that sensation and golden light. And exhale, we're sending that out. Stay with this imagery, filling the body, and then sending this goldenness out into the world. Stay with the breath attention, breathing as deeply as you can. Another way I find to stay with the breath is kind of come into the yumminess of the breath. Feel it as the sweetness.
And with our eyes closed, we're now shifting the hands to a prayer position. And bring your attention to feeling the fingertips, the palms touching. If you're very attentive, you may also feel the, the heart between the palms. Slowly opening the eyes. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you found some benefit to this practice. Namaste.